To write the name for CrCO3, we need to recognize that chromium, that's a transition metal, and this CO3 here, it's a polyatomic ion. So because we have this transition metal and this polyatomic ion, a group of nonmetals, we're going to treat this as an ionic compound. So first we write the name of the metal as it appears on the periodic table. That's our chromium here. And then we're going to write the name for the polyatomic ion. So you either memorize that CO3 is called the carbonate ion, or if you're allowed, you look it up. So lowercase c. So far, we have chromium carbonate as the name for CrCO3. But because chromium is a transition metal, we have to put the charge in the name. We know that the carbonate ion, the whole thing, is 2 minus. So the chromium, that's going to have to be 2 plus. So we're going to put a Roman numeral 2 with parentheses between the names. So the name for CrCO3 is chromium 2 carbonate. If you were given the name and asked to write the formula for chromium carbonate here, chromium 2 carbonate, you'd know that the chromium has a 2 plus ionic charge, the carbonate has a 2 minus, so you just have CrCO3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.